<laughs> that, that was something we all saw on the curbside. We, we all saw on the curbside. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Love your positive. Man, I, I, I needed that, A.T. I saw you call me at the right time. You hear me? Oh, my. You know, I just see, you know, how people don't believe in miracles, but you are walking miracles. I love you, baby. Let me get my shit together tight, man. I'm feeling like Kyrie right now. I'm feeling like my little brother right now. I'm gonna put him on first. Bro got me with 30,000 on my neck by the dub on my wrist. We should be the end right now. Hey, you boxed in right now in the basement. You talking to Trip Money, man. You hollering that curbside, man. You know what we got going on, man. Bro, really, really putting the pressure on the floor right now with this podcast shit, man. And we finna let y'all know everything y'all need to know. All the shit y'all was wondering, I'm gonna put it on the floor like right now. While I'm smoking the best weed. What type of vibe do you look for in an artist? And when you, you know what I'm saying, when you're looking for somebody to do some type of some type of work with, that's crazy. You said, um, I look for somebody that, that that I vibe with, like that I can listen to, like local. Like if I can't listen to you and you local, I ain't really vibing with you. I don't want to work with you. There's so many local dudes. I think it's like like one up T. I'm about to holler at him for sure. He talk like how, how I think. You know what I'm saying? People like that make me want to work with him for sure. Like, I gotta pay that ticket to come work with you. Payroll. Like, he talk how I talk. The same way I talk about like that rapping experience, I think I'd be talking like him. You feel me? If I had that paper like him right now, I think I'd be on some shit like on payroll. So I'd, I'd pay that ticket to go out like him. What's some artists you working with right now in the city? I work with a lot of artists. I work, uh, I work with my brother, RMC Mike, for sure. We got some fire, fire shit. Some release there, we got some release. We got six figures released. And um, I got some unreleased shit that's so fire. I'm finna release real soon, super soon. I uh, work with Crispy. I work with um, Grams, Bag Light T, D Grant. Shout out to D Grant. Yes, sir. All with, firework. Uh, yeah, all firework. I work with Slack. I work with 3 a.m. I shout out to my brother 3 a.m. I work with Trap, Trap Star Pain. That's my brother. Super, super fire. I work with uh, Kane. Um, I ain't leaving nobody out that I have to remember. I work with Slow, Rest in Peace Slow. Slow had a lot to do with me even keep rapping like bro i was so tired of trying to rap bro like my first five songs was like i'm like this is oh, and i'm missing money like this was whack as hell but slow rest in peace slow bro he, he passed away at a, at a at a horrible point i work with a lot of artists from flint though like i work with a lot of artists like that paid me for shit but i ain't i can't say their name like i don't know their names like shout out to them like I work with a lot of artists that's coming up under me. Uh, artists that's coming up same time as me. I got a lot of artists that I need to work with ASAP. And if I left anybody out, I'm high as dog shit. I smoke like probably 30 grams of weed today, my bad. I work with Bam on the beat though. He an artist for sure. I got a question, man. I know the fans want to know. What is Humble Goat? Humble Goat. That is simple. <clears throat> it's a person that know for a fact. That he is the great. He the greatest of all time. You feel me? On his Jordan shit. He feel like he the greatest of whatever he do. But he gonna always stay humble in every situation. You know what I mean? He gonna be the loudest in the room. That don't mean he gonna be flamboyant. That don't mean none of that. But that mean he gonna stand on tall business. That man know for a fact when he lay down look in the mirror every day that he that man. Can't nobody fuck with him. But don't nobody else gotta know that. So a humble goat. It's it, and it go for women too. It's all about believing in yourself and having confidence for real, but being humble enough to know that anything in life can humble you down and take anything away from you. Also, being a humble goat means you can also still be a goat and a great whatever you do with no money. It don't have nothing to do with money. Money do help situations, but just being a humble goat, bro, I came up with that like by myself, the whole everything. So it means so much to me, like from the designs to the like the breakdown of the name of it. And then uh, it's just like, just a person like you, bro. Like I met, like I told you, like it's a lot of people I say like deserve to wear that type of clothes. You feel me? Because they humble goats. They people that, that can be flamboyant and brag on the thing that they can do and do this. They can tax on the things that they can charge you for this. And it's that they got information. They have relationships. But those people are so humble that they might, they don't care if you surpass them. They gonna get, let you get that road. They gonna let you get that information, just because they know that it's gonna be reciprocated. That's a humble goat. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people around here that that can help you go to the next step or the next level, but they not just because they think you gonna surpass them. He is not a humble goat. He or she, that person is someone who will never wear my clothing. <laughs> never wear my clothing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's what it's all about for sure. What's the message that you got for people that's doing the same thing as you in your community? Oh, man, keep going. No cap. Keep 
going. Just keep going, bro. Like, I swear to God, keep going. I ain't even gonna lie. I gotta keep going right now. Like, may get to the point where you'll probably lose everything, but I'ma still keep going. Whatever your dream is, bro, whatever it is, bro, you just gotta keep going and believe in yourself. And whoever you love and, and you know love you back truly, if they believe in you, bro, it's time to rock out. You gotta make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? If it's taking time out your day for your family, money to pay bills or whatever, you gotta make sure you stand on that business, bro. So just keep going. Don't let nobody tell you different. It's going to be haters and it's going to be people that's going to be pushing you too. It's going to be people pushing you that don't even really want you to do it. But it's going to be people that's hating that really want you to do it too. It's going to be something wicked. But you got to keep going, bro. It ain't going to make sense to the end. I ain't going to lie. What's some uh, projects you thought about doing in your community to make it better? Just some ideas that you done had just to bring the community together. Like I say, I'm from six, six war. And uh, rest in peace, Chris, my uncle, man. Love him to death. But uh, Raz Cobb and Chevrolet is where I'm from. So I went to Summerfield School all my life. Like Summerfield Elementary right there by Longfield. I ain't never made it to Longfield. They closed it out. But uh, long story short, one of the things that I want to do and I, and I plan on doing for sure, like, within the next few years is redoing that basketball court. And what I mean by redoing it is if y'all are familiar with uh how that, the Detroit Pistons just redid the basketball court right there in the fifth. Right there going down Hamilton. Yep, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That I wanna, nice too. They did I wanna did do the, the I wanna thing. turf I wanna turf it. I wanna uh come new basketball hoops. I wanna come instead of just you uh two hoops, I wanna come you can have three games going, I wanna cage in just simply like on a New York vibe, like the record vibe. You feel me? And I know it only costs like probably twenty thousand, bro, twenty five thousand or something to get that done and that right there and right there in the six. And that'll bring so many youth and coaches and it brings so many people there just cause it's worth coming. I ain't gonna lie, and the reason why I wanna do it is cause that's the court I was raised in. But I watched my uncle Chris play basketball there. I watched all my cousins play basketball there. I played basketball there. I mean they redid the they redid the court about four times since I went to school there. But it never was good. So I just always want to redo that. I mean, that's, that's like one of the first things I do. Yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a sure. good idea. I ain't going to lie because there's a lot of courts around that need to be redone. You know what I mean? They got them destroyed, you know what I mean? And they, they know that the youth that going to want to come to that type of stuff. Yeah, so when they don't got it, they're going to just they gonna Go reach do under and no do cap. Do anything, bro. Leave us out here to the point where there ain't too much to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if we had the basketball courts like in, in New York, like look like the record full with all, you know what I mean? He play, I mean, I mean, these dudes going to prison and, and dying that can hoop for real. They really be going to these courts and playing. Ain't no courts here to play. Ain't none. I remember playing so on you, courts. So, I mean, you walking past the dead courts. Now you looking for some weed. You looking for a gun. Now you in jail. Now mm -hmm. you got smoke. But you, all you really wanted to do was just hoop. It just wasn't around you. In your city. Mm -hmm. All you needed was a nice court with two hoops. A one hoop. We ain't, they don't be really having that. Shout out to the Pistons and Monte Morris for doing what they did. Because that was fire. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Because no, sure. me and RMC Mike, me and bro, we had a lot of games up there. About to pass out. Like... But it's courts that we couldn't go to because of the, just the pavement and the hoops. You feel me? Luckily, we played there. So, man, I want to touch on a sensitive topic. Uh, who is K-Trip? That's my little K-Trip, my little brother, man. That's my little brother I got around my neck, man. Kyrie. Kyrie Triplett. He passed away in 2019. That, that's my little brother, man. And, uh... Long story short, he was a great. He was an artist. He was a, a loving brother, loving son. He was just a loving friend, loving cut everything. Like he was everything in one. He was moving so fast at a point in his time, and I was moving so fast at a point in my time. Me and him ain't really, you know, catch static like we needed to, but we did. And the conversations we had, you know, around that time was real, was real like vital. He, he Kyrie, it's my little brother. He a, he a great, a real great. It's crazy because it took for him to pass for me to really know how great he was from people that I didn't, that's not family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, all the things he taught people that's teaching me how to rap or helping me how to rap or showing me how to record, they wouldn't have known without bro. Like, you feel me? It's times I pull up on bro to holler at him and he upstairs just on the computer. And I'm I'm so dumbfounded. Like I say, two, when I, if it wasn't two years ago, I wouldn't listen to think about music. The only music I listened to was if he was famous. But it came to right before he passed, he dropped his tape and he, he caught that traction. And um, him and Ree, Free Rio, man, no cap, it's my man's too. Yeah, free Rio. That's my brother for sure, for sure. Free him, man. We used to be on Mac and me, him and Mike tripping. We was rolling blunts this big, this big, asking way before niggas was smoking grams, man. I'm talking about 
I think Rio was the first one I ever seen. We was sticking backwoods and swishers together, smoking them together. Like, man, and he just yeah, rolled them yeah. so perfect. Mike and Rio, no cap. So, free money, Rio, man. Yep, that's what it is, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it is. So, what's some ideas you got for an uh, album you plan on putting out? I just dropped Fresh Off the East. It's doing crazy numbers, too, right now. I'll show y'all on Spotify and Apple Music. All you got to do is type in Trip Money and with my spelling. It's T-R-I-P-M, the number zero, N-E-Y-Y. -Y. It's, it's not an O. It's a zero. So when you when you type it in with an O, it's hard to find my music on a lot of stuff. Now, once you type it in right, you're going to see everything pop up. But uh, I got uh, about five singles out right now. They all doing it. From Ghetto Go all the way to Free Lucci and Free YFN, Lucci for show. I got some fire singles out. And I got a whole tape out. I just dropped with Bam on the Beat, produced strictly by Bam on the Beat. Engineered by my boy Bass Guy. So it's top tier, quality, beautiful music. It's a, it's a vibe out, fresh off the east. Um, and it's on all streaming platforms. That's my EP. I just dropped it. Within the next month, coming into th coming into 2024, I'm coming with Welcome to the West Side. And I'm already, me and Bam are already working. I got features from Cash. He's like, oh, shit, I forgot Cash is king. Yeah. I work yeah. with King, man. That's my brother. You got you to gotta, you gotta make sure that's in there. Oh, no, it's in there for yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, King, yeah, that's, my, that's Cassius, my blood. Man. Shout out Cash. That's my blood brother, King Cash. Man, you know I'm high as him right now. Me and everybody at the same level. But, uh, yeah, me and bro, we got a crazy song, bro. Like, me and him got one that's one of them. Me and King got one I think that's one of them. Mm -hmm. Produced by Bam. I'm talking about Ooh. course, course vibe and everything. So me and him finna do that. I got featured with RMC Mike on his new tape. Bag Life T on his new tape. Vine on his new tape. Yeah, I work with Vine too. No cap, I forgot. He was like one of the first artists that was already turned that came and pulled up on a dub in the studio and came and rapped with me on some Let's Get It Poppin'. You know what I'm saying? When I was fresh and we boxed some shit in. It's called Six Babies. I never really dropped it. But it's one of my hardest songs for sure. Like everybody around me know. Like so, shout out to Six Word Vine. Like that song, that song in my in my phone. That's getting dropped on Welcome to the West Side for sure. Me and Mike got six figures out right now. We got a new shit coming on this Welcome to the West, man. It's on the flow. I ain't gonna lie. And I still and I'm still open for whatever. I pay for features right now if it makes sense, or you can pay me. If you ain't gotta be from Bam, you don't trap enough. That's no cap. Shout out to Bam. And, uh, he know how vital he is, man. That man pushed me so hard, like. He hit me up on a normal, like, trip is tired and uh, and we go and do that. You know what I'm saying? And he hit me up like, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, you pressing right now. Like, I be needing that type of, I be needing that type of, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that type of shit helped me out. Especially from somebody as big as Bam. You know what I'm saying? Bam done did so much. He's so, he got so many credit. He got so much shit under his belt. So, him being, like, my brother, uh, one phone call away. It helped me out even from uploading my music the right way to making sure my shit sound the right way before I just drop it. Like, um, if I say a bar, he'd be like, no, I said, say, say that word this way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you're like a good producer. Like, like, no, like, like, like Timberland type. You feel me? Yeah, like, dog, yeah. one of them. Like, but it's like to the point he my brother, so he go his he go further for me. Like, like he want to see me do better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he been doing that from the beginning. So I ain't gonna lie, he one of them ones like. Yeah, and Kane too. RMG Kane, bro. That's my brother, uh, White Boy E. Trap Star Pain. And like I said, bro, it's like, it's, it's them three, like, that's real vital in this shit. Like, if God was to bless me to make anything, if God was to, like, this your kid got some cheese on it right now, but. Man, good. I'm letting it stack up. You, you feel got me? to. That's how it's But at to the work. same time, that shit. distro kid come to 100,000 on there. That distro kid comes to 100,000. I'm, I'm withdrawing it, and them three people I just named, they for sure gonna get at least 15. Yeah, good. Yeah, and, and if the numbers go up higher, you know they get more. You know what I'm saying? That's just them off of or, or they off the push of me going to rap. If it wasn't for them, if it wasn't for Trap boxing me in on a lot of songs, like Trap was a seasoned rapper. You know what I'm saying? It's like me, it's like me coming in fighting Floyd Mayweather, and I'm just coming from sparring with Clarissa for real at, at, at Burston when she just dropped. Yeah. You feel me? But I'm in there with one of them. I'm in there with Trap, and he already seasoned. He doing me in. But you gotta think I'm a man with pride, so. I go home at night. All right, I got to come do that. So yeah. the next day, we just get high. We into my happen probably for like two months until one day they like trip boxed you in, trap. I said, ooh, bomb, my time. 
I said it was my turn. Good. After already 200 boxing ins, I got mine. And then I think I end up, I think I've been boxing shit in since then. Yeah, locking shit down. You know what I'm shit. saying? And I've got the game on lock for sure, for sure. Bitch, yeah. Doing for his sure. thing. So, what, so what's the message you got for, you know what I'm saying, your fans that's going to tune in on this? No cap, bro. I love every one of y'all. I'm the type of artist, bro. If I was to ever, whatever, like, I don't care if I was to get to any point, I would show the most appreciation to my fans. That's all. That's the only reason why a person even doing anything. You feel me? Like, you take your time to listen to me. You take your time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you spend you know, you spend your money to come holler at me. All that, like your time. That's that's, that's pivotal. So at the end of the day, uh, message to them for sure is, I appreciate y'all, and I know I got fans. Like I'm the I'm the type of artist that look at my I look at my distro kid and my my Apple Music and my Spotify um, artists. I look at my Apple artists, my my stats every day, just to check. You feel me? Every day my shit going up 300 viewers, 300 listens, 300 listens. I got for sure like 200 daily listeners. You know what I'm saying? Like my biggest states is like Atlanta, Kentucky, Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? It's places like that. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I really want to say whoever out there listening to me, bro. Because I know a lot of people from Flint listening to me. It's a lot of family, a lot of friends. I got some people tapped in for sure. They ain't, uh, but it's harder and harder in Flint. But the people that's out the way listening to me, I want to tell y'all, keep listening, man. I got something for y'all, for sure, for sure. This shit going to pay off. It's a slow grind. It's a slow grind, but I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to take some time, but it's going to make sense. I heard it here first, man. Curbside TV, it's manifesting with Trip Money. We ain't outside on the curb, with, but we inside on the curb. What are you talking about?